Okay. Um, I, now, I, an awful lot of the, the topics that we have been talking about and that we will be talking about and uh, some of the more formal uh, considerations deal with subjects and objects. The uh, access of, of subjects to objects. Uh, so, what is a subject and what is an object? Um, and the, the reason that this is important is that the same thing can be both subject and object. Um, we have typically uh, thought of uh, subjects as the, the user. And we are granting access of the subject, the user, to an object, a file or perhaps a, a data field, uh, an, an application, the system itself, whatever. Um, so what then is a subject and an object? Well, a subject is anything that is wanting a resource, wanting to use a resource. Uh, the, the resource can be uh, a file. The resource can be a system. The resource can be a communications channel. The resource can be a particular process. Uh, but the, the subject is making a, uh, a request. And um, we can perhaps broaden our understanding of the idea of subjects and objects by thinking in terms of client-server architecture. And, you know, what is, what is a client, what is a server? The client is making the request, the server has the request to grant. So, we have... Uh, you know, a, a similarity there to what we're doing with regard to access control of subjects to objects. The, so a subject then can be a user, and that's traditionally what we, uh, uh, what we think of. It, it can be a, a program, that the program is asking for uh, access to a file, access uh, to a field, access to a memory location, whatever it may be, you know, a, a resource. The, the program is making a request, asking for the use of a resource. Um, it might be a, a utility, um, possibly even a procedure or a function, down to that level. Uh, so, we have to consider uh, subject and object a bit more broadly as we get into some of um, the more formal architectures with regard to uh, access control. And, and are, we, uh, you know, are we going to provide access of the requesting uh, object? To this particular resource, what you know? Uh, are we going to make that decision? How are we going to make that decision? Now, what then uh, is an object? Now, the the object is the the resource that uh, is being requested. So, if it is a resource, it can be a file, a program, a utility. Uh, a service. You know, all of these things can be resources, can be objects. And, and so you will notice that programs can be either subject or object. That a utility can be either subject or object. And therefore we have situations where one and the same entity can be at different times a subject or an object. Uh, that definition of subject and object is not different 
uh, sorry, is not uh, fixed. It is not inherently defined. It depends on the transaction uh, that is going on. What, what is it that we are doing? And so we, we have to understand what kind of transaction we are involved with in order to make the, the determination in terms of the, the subject and the object with regard to access control. Do we need to control the access of various entities as subjects to various entities which you know may have uh, the same items on the same entities on the list as objects and so what do we need to put in place in terms of access controls between these entities so bear that in mind um, in reviewing some of the material that we've already covered where we have mentioned subjects and objects and as we go forward into some of the more formal discussions of uh, access control and the, the identity in terms of the transaction as to what is a subject and what is an object.